Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Let me ask you the age-old popular question. Is this glass half full or half empty? While philosophy ponders on all kinds of possible outcomes, science says that this glass is actually full, half with water and the other half with air. Air is extremely light and it's all around us. In today's video, we'll see a bunch of experiments to show that air takes up space. The easiest one is to, well, blow a balloon. As the air enters the balloon, the balloon expands because the air inside needs to take up more space. Another way to show that air takes up space is to simply take a glass and push it upside down in a container of water. If you notice, water doesn't enter this glass because all the space inside is taken up by air. Air is less dense than water, so it is able to stay on top of the water. If we tip the glass, the air trapped inside will rush out in the form of bubbles. And in doing so, it makes space for the water to enter the glass. Here's how you show that the glass had air inside which took space. Crush a paper and put it in the bottom of the glass. Flip the glass upside down and submerge it in water as shown. The glass is completely underwater. Let's remove it and see if anything has happened to our paper. It's completely dry. This shows that when we submerged the glass straight down into the water, the air was trapped inside the glass which takes up space and therefore it does not allow the water to get inside the glass. Here's another experiment you can try. Place a ping pong ball in the water and then put the glass over it. Push the glass till bottom of the container and you'll notice that the ball is pushed down with the glass. The water level increases because of displacement and the ball remains dry. We've seen what happens when air is trapped. Now what if we give the air some space to go? Before we see the inflating glove trick, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. To set up this experiment, take a plastic bottle and use a hacksaw to cut off the bottom. Then, use a sandpaper to smoothen the edges. Repeat the same for the top as well to get a cylinder. Next, stretch and fit a glove on one of the sides of the bottle as shown and that's it. Take the container of water and immerse the bottle as shown. You'll notice that the glove inflates quickly. When the glove isn't inflated, the air is only present in the cavity of the bottle. When we immerse the bottle, the air needs somewhere to go. So instead of staying in the bottle because of the water pressure and because air is less dense than water, it rushes up and inflates the glove. And so it makes space for water inside the bottle. Isn't this interesting? This video is part 1 of the series How to show that air takes space. In the next part, we'll make a very interesting model that even you can try at home. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and keep watching the art of science.